hello lovelies if you're aiming for an a or an a star in your a level psychology then laura our expert psychology teacher has given me her 10 top tips to help get you there now don't forget these will go really really well with all the free content over the website which will help you revise psychology so tip number one is to master your research methods make sure you have a solid understanding of research methodologies and the issues surrounding psychological research research methods questions can and do appear in all of the exam papers. This material can also be used as part of your evaluation and your discussion in the longer essay style questions that you agree from. Being confident in your research methods will really support your performance across the entire course, so it's across all of the papers. You can see examples of this in the walkthroughs for the predicted papers that we've written for this year. Number two is to know your key studies. A number of studies are named in specifications, so this means you can face questions about specifically about them. This includes studies like Zimbardo's Stanford Prison Experiment, Milgram's work on obedience, and Mary Ainsworth's strange situations. You need to go beyond memorizing the aim, procedure, findings, and conclusions of these studies. You need to analyze the strengths and limitations of each and explore how these studies have shaped and influenced the development of psychological theories. You need to consider how they've contributed towards policy and practice in the real world. What difference have they made to how we live? How we live. What have they helped to explain? Remember, this is what psychology aims to achieve so that we have a deeper understanding and help things to improve. Number three is to know your command words and your assessment objectives. Make sure you understand what the different types of questions are asking of you and what types of marks will be available what type of material would be credit worthy. For example, in an outline and describe question A01, so your knowledge marks will be available. You need to show that you understand what you understand. This could be on a theory, a key concept or a study. For apply questions, A02 application marks will be available. You need to link your psychological knowledge to a real life scenario or research study. For evaluate questions, A03 evaluation marks will be available. And you will need to give strengths, limitations, or weaknesses of something. So when Laura walks you through the A star example essays that she's written, what I really, really love is how she clearly shows you where A01, A02, and A03 in different colors come into the answers and then you can apply this in your own writing. Number four is critical evaluation is key. The depth of your evaluation and discussion will have one of the biggest impacts on your grade. Getting the detail and depth into your evaluation points is important. It is never enough to simply identify. You need to make the point, identify an evaluative point and then explain why it's a strength or a limitation including an example here, is often a great way to illustrate the point that is being made. Finish off by considering what is the consequence or implication is and what's the outcome, and what's the impact or significance. Five, evaluate, 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 evaluate. There will always be more marks available for A3 evaluation than A01 knowledge in the long essay questions. So make sure this is reflected in your response. Be strict with your timings and leave yourself enough time to write a thorough evaluation. Number six, do not forget that 10% of the marks will be focused on mathematical content. Be prepared for this. These questions should not come as a surprise, even though psychology is a very essay-based subject. Remember, you don't need to be able to calculate all of the statistical tests using the specification. You just have to know when they should be used. But they could ask you questions on calculating the mean, median, mode, range, along with things like fractions, ratios, percentage, which you should be familiar with from GCSE maths. There is a separate free section over on psychology boot camps and masterclasses to recap these skills if you need. Number seven, use psychological technical language. Immerse yourself in the language of psychology. Include precise terminology accurately and consistency consistently in your response. And developing this rich vocabulary will allow you to articulate complicated concepts with ease and really show off the depth of your understanding. 
Number eight, be a psychologist. Practice designing psychological study. So these can include experiments and observations, as well as writing questions that could be used in an interview or a questionnaire. This could be about any area of psychology, pick a topic and make it fun. When you answer a design a study question in the exam, you will then be confident about the structure and have lots of ideas to use. Number nine, organize your work. Do not forget to use paragraphs. This is a really easy, simple way to show up to the examiner the cohesive structure of your work. If you're moving between key concepts or key parts of a theory, start a new paragraph. If you're moving from strength to a limitation, start a new paragraph. This will quickly allow you and the examiner to see that you have included what needs to be added and it'll make it easier for the examiner to mark. It will make it easier to read and if it's easier to read, it's easier for the examiner to give you more marks. Number 10, and this is a big one, answer the question. It can be really easy to lose track of the question when you're in the middle of an exam, when you're in the middle of a big essay and you're on focus and then you go off on a tangent and you lose it. Take time to plan out your response and keep revisiting this. Go back to this. What is a particular question you're looking for? What is a focus? Are you linking back to this material on a regular basis? So, lovelies those are our top 10 tips to help you get that a or that a star in a level psychology do not forget that laura and i are here with you every single second of the way we've got loads of lives at easter we've got our predictive papers we've got our walkthroughs and our boot camps and our masterclasses we have so much stuff to help you get you there in a calm and confident way